Hey folks, how you doing? Listen, I'm here to do a vinyl finds of all kinds, although there's not really many kinds in this particular batch. Uh, I'm doing a video, but the thing is, you know, I've been talking about purging my vinyl, and in the year 2023, I did purge myself of a lot of vinyl, particularly non-Beatles vinyl, but I still have a lot. And in 2024, I was going to try to unburden myself, if you will, with uh, some more. Now, the items I have here to show you are a mixed bag, and I'll explain how I feel about to keep or not to keep. And uh, let, let, let me say that these records I'm going to show you are not new purchases that I've gotten in recent days or weeks. These are months old, uh, at least three months old, if not longer, and I've never shown them yet. The reason I've never shown them is because I, I wait till I accrue enough of them. Uh, if I don't have enough records, then I don't even bother making a video, you see. So um, I was holding on to them till till I got more and more and more. And you know what? That day never came because I'm cutting back. So I figured, well, these have been sitting here long enough. Let's show them. To start with, this is an interesting record to me as a movie fan that I'm going to keep. It's The Bride, a soundtrack to the 1985 horror film, The Bride, starring Sting. <laughs> Sting is Dr. Frankenstein and uh, Jennifer Beals. Not the greatest movie, although I do like half of it. Uh, half of the story deals with one subject, half deals with the other. I like the first story more than the other story. Or is it the second story? Anyway, I'm not here to talk about movies. I'm here to talk about the albums so um yeah this is in the shrink this is the kind of album that i will keep this is the kind of album no matter what happens with my collection i like to have movie soundtracks i really like collecting those so i will keep them and i'll just share with you for those of you who like to see every detail the label here and of course it's uh, i never know how to pronounce it varice sarab band varice saraband label and uh yeah the bride this is a, a cool album to have i never knew it existed so when i saw it i was really excited to pick it up now <laughs> the next three i have three lps here and one single and they're all by the same artist okay so <laughs> a few months ago i saw gary puckett and the union gap and, of course, I was so into it that I decided... I, I've always liked a few of Gary Puckett's biggest songs. I decided to pick up some of these records. Well, first of all, I think this is an upgrade. This is the 45, okay? Lady Willpower. And, you see, when it comes to 45 RPMs, I, I enjoy keeping 45s. I'm a 45 fan. I like spinning 45s every now and then. So I will definitely hold on to this. My 45 collection is going to stay intact. Um, I do love collecting 7-inch records. So, I don't know what it is about them, maybe from my childhood or whatever, but I like once in a while just grabbing a bunch and just popping them on one after the other on the turntable. But, here's where the problem, if there is such a problem, comes along. All right? These records were all $3 each. You're talking about Woman, Woman. I believe this is the first album by Gary Puckett and the Union Gap. Uh, I love that song, Woman, Woman. And this was only 3 bucks used, I mean, in great shape. So this is where it's tough to resist when you see a record for only $3. And plus, it's such a cool cover. And I just had, I just seen Gary Puckett, in, 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 you know, live. So he was in my mind. And I just met him in person. And he was such a nice guy. Um, how could I resist? Um, so that's why I bought this. That's why it's been sitting here for a length of time. There's the Columbia label. And I haven't shown anything because, well, as I said, I wanted to get some other albums. And I was waiting to get some other albums, which just never happened. And I don't know how many there are going to be in my future. I'm not going to stop collecting. No matter what happens, I'm always going to be bringing vinyl into the collection. 
uh, along with putting some out. And I'm always going to have records to show you, but I think they're going to be few and far between. Let's do the next one here. The Young Girl. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's a lot better you know, looking at these without the outer sleeve because it's too much glare. But again, this is this one's in the shrink wrap, original shrink. And yeah, I was so happy to pick it up at the time. This one here is incredible. The Gary Puckett, the Union Gap, and the shrink. Incredible. All right. So, and since this one is open enough, I'll just show you. Yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you because this is the the end right now, where I stand vinyl wise, what I have up to date, uh, showing on my channel. The question is just going to be how much more, if any, I'm going to be bringing in, and I'm wondering. As I kind of alluded to in the beginning of the video, talking about reasons of things, and if albums like this are going to stay, because these are the kind of albums that I would be kind of okay with um, parting with, uh, just just to have a greatest hit CD. Now I say greatest hit CD, right? Uh, although greatest hit CDs usually suffice for me a lot of the time. Uh, I noticed that there was a track on one of these records that I don't think is a hit. Uh, it's the second song on this one. It's called Milady. Uh And that was an, an album track, Milady. I don't know if that's a hit. You tell me. It was actually it was actually on a CD. I also picked up, which I don't have now. I have it in my car. I was playing it in my car. A uh, Gary Puckett CD, which actually... I think contains a couple of the albums, maybe the first two albums. And I like the song Milady on it. And I said, it just goes to show you that, uh, you know, you, even if you don't know a song, of course, there are album tracks, deeper cuts maybe, that we actually can like. So I may be missing out on some of these tracks if I just decide not to go for the whole LP. But yeah, I'm in one of those times again, one of those transition times of getting rid of things not getting rid of things, what to part with, what not to part with, what to bring in, what not to bring in. It's always a good topic for conversation. So thank you, everybody, for watching, and uh, I'll let you know how I make out.